Hey guys, this is going to be a short video on the concept of mass and weight. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also share this video with friends, family, and to all children of all ages. Although the words are quite often used interchangeably, mass and weight also have very distinct definitions in physics. Mass is an inherent property of an object, while weight arises from its surrounding environment. For any non-physicists, the distinction between mass and weight seems quite confusing and nitpicking too. For example, units such as kilograms, pounds, and stone that we habitually use to describe weight are actually measures of mass. On the other hand, weight itself is measured in an entirely different unit called the Newton. Why is weight called Newton? By the way, in my last video, I mentioned the geniusness of Sir Isaac Newton and we'll link that below in the description box. Now, let's dive into the topic. Mass. What is mass? It is a direct measure of the amount of material in an object and therefore how hard it is to move, sometimes called inertia, and how strong an attractive force it exerts due to that mass, its gravity. What is weight? It is properly described as a measure of the force a particular mass exerts or experiences due to the gravity in its environment. As mentioned in the beginning, that weight itself is measured in a different unit called the Newton. It is named after Isaac Newton, in recognition of his work on classical mechanics, specifically Newton's second law of motion. I will link the video below, as I said before, if you haven't seen the video on Newton. On the surface of the Earth, an object's weight is the force that causes it to fall down towards the center of the planet. This fall may be arrested or prevented by presence of a barrier or counteracting upward slash outward force, but the downward force or weight itself always remains. Inertia does matter. Outside of the gravitational field, or when the force of gravity is neutralized by other forces, as orbit, an object has no weight but its mass remains the same. We actually published a video on why satellites don't fall and we'll link that in the description box below as it can help you understand this concept further. For example, in weightless conditions, a bowling ball and a balloon might both float in mid-air, but the bowling ball's greater mass and inertia means it takes much more effort to move it. Some interesting scientific facts. As the mass of something rises or falls, its weight will also change in the same way. And if the gravitational force on something rises or falls, its weight will also. In short, the mass of something rarely changes, but there are multiple ways its weight can change. If your mass is 45 kilograms on Earth, your 100 pound weight would drop to 17 pounds on the moon. However, on the planet Jupiter, you'd weigh 250 pounds. In both places, either the moon or Jupiter, your body mass will remain the same at 45 kilograms, but you will weigh differently because of relative gravity. Okay, let me conclude this video. The mass of an object is a fundamental property of the object, a numerical measure of its inertia, a fundamental measure of the amount of matter in the object. Definitions of mass often seem circular because it is such a fundamental quantity that it is hard to define in terms of something else. All mechanical quantities can be defined in terms of mass, length and time. The usual symbol for mass is M and its SI unit is in kilogram. The weight of the object is the force of gravity on the object and may be defined as the mass times the acceleration of gravity is called W is equal to M times G. Since the weight is the force 
its SI unit is the newton. If an object has a mass of 1 kilogram on Earth, it would have a mass of 1 kilogram on the Moon itself, even though it would weigh only one sixth as much in Moon because of its gravity. While the actual weight of a person is determined by his mass and the acceleration of gravity, once perceived weight or effective weight come from the fact that he is supported by flow, chair, etc. Just imagine if all support is removed suddenly and the person begins to fall free, he or she will suddenly be weightless. So weightlessness refers to a state of being in free fall in which there is no perceived support. The state of weightlessness can be achieved in several ways, all of which involve significant physical principles. Finally, let me close out the video with a rocket launch. At launch, the rocket is full of fuel, so its mass is greatest. At Earth's surface, it also feels the maximum pull of gravity, so its weight is heaviest. A few minutes after the launch, the rocket has burned through a huge portion of its fuel. This means it has lost mass as the, that fuel has been transformed into energy. In addition, the rocket is farther from Earth's surface. Therefore, the gravity pulls on it with even less force. Both the rocket's mass and its weights have dropped. The rocket's engine can now push the rocket even faster than they could at launch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe to my channel. See you soon in with my next video. Cheers, bye.